So there we go then. Rip out day. Gonna rip out the bulkhead today, get all this lining out <coughs> and possibly the floor and see what's behind it. But uh rebond the ceiling to the to the struts. But other than that, I think it's not in bad nick. Pull these out. Just looks a bit dusty. But not a lot of rust on it. So let's crack on. Last one at the top then. So that's the bulkhead out. I shall get rid of that at the recycle plant. But there you go. The start begins. And there's that side done. Apply lining out. And as you can see, other than a bit of dust, which I think will clean up all right, it looks quite clean. Not expecting any trouble from this side, but the, it's the floor that people worry about more than anything. So let's see what the floor's like. Yeah, that's that side out. So now we're just looking at the floor. And I don't know what we're going to find under this because they've put like a double skin on. I think they've just nailed it. So let's have a look at that. It's just nailed in. First impressions, it almost looks, still looks brand new. So I'll get the rest out, give it a sweep out and a mop and see where we are from there. So that's it, floor's all out. Floor's all out, screws all out. To drill one of them tie, tie downs out. Get the rest of that out in a minute. So I'm gonna give it a sweep out and a mop. But I found one of these. I'm not entirely sure what this fan was used for, but yeah, <coughs> call the police. Right, anyway, I'm going to give it a sweep out and a mop and see what it looks like after that. But, too British weather. It's raining. So that's it, first mop done, <clears throat> in the end you're just pushing mucky water about but I'll get the first lot, first lot done and it don't look too bad, it's a bit of rust, a few little rust spots there, a few more screws to take out I noticed as well, ripped me mop to pieces but yeah, quite happy with that, stage one, rip out, done. Right, day two on the job. A load of deliveries. Uh, but day two on the job is to try and get these flat panels off. So yeah, got my little tool. Just done one. They're not easy to get off to be fair. But yeah, these are quite stiff. So uh, yeah, I can try and try and keep them intact.
bigger tool. A bigger tool is always better. So not an easy task, but it needed to come off. It needs to come off a lot because of the uh, they are a bit dirty behind there. But yeah, I think once you're behind them and you can get a bit of leverage using both tools, you can just pop them off a little bit easier. But yeah, let's crack on. So that side done. Yeah, as you can see in places, it's quite grimy. And, uh, yeah, there you go. This side to do. Let's, uh, let's crack on with that. So that's that. So all I've got to do now is take the boards off the doors and the sliding door when it's shut um, and that's all my boarding off so uh, yeah I'll get the screwdriver out whip them off and then it'll be time to properly wipe everything down and get it all clean tired of taking boards off and seeing these black ones behind them as if one board isn't enough anyway what's that colouring up I don't know let's get this off and then it's clean up time so there you go off all stripped out so I'm gonna get rid of some of them boards and them boards out of the van and uh, I'm not gonna throw anything away yet because they could come in handy even if I'm not reusing them but yeah so we can get it all wiped down a bit mucky get it all wiped down clean and uh, smelling a little bit better I need to get a hoover at some point and get down in these bits down there. Let's get some stuff shifted out and get a bucket of water, soapy water in here. <clears throat> Luckily, I'm as good at taking things apart as I am putting them together. Hammer time. Yeah. 